So this past fall, me and Rachel were talking about lambing 2024 and what areas that we wanted to make improvements in or investments in, and that was lamb and ewe care. So we decided to purchase some items that we feel will make it a little bit easier on the lambs and the ewes going forward, make it a little less stressful on them, and in the end, that should create a better lamb when we're weaning, a stronger, healthier lamb, and help the ewes get back into a good body condition score and recover faster. So with today, we're going to go ahead and start assembling some of those items we purchased. So back in November, me and Rachel went down to the North American International Livestock Expo. Um, they have a couple weeks show down in Louisville there where they have different species of livestock at different times. We went down on the sheep weekend. Um, we went down there to look around at the trade show, through the shopping area, and to watch some of the sheep shows. We always like going down. There's a lot of neat stuff to see while you're down there, a lot of different products. Uh, stuff I've seen in catalogs or online that I can see in person there. Uh, one main reason why we went down this year was because back in October, I called up Seidel, who is a manufacturer of sheep and goat handling equipment, and I made an order because if you order through them um, before they're packing the trailers to go to the North American, they're able to put your order on and bring it there for you and that saves you some shipping. Um, so instead of paying the shipping costs, I was actually able to buy a few extra items and basically spend the same amount of money I was going to anyway. And it was really cool getting to talk to them. I actually was talking to the son-in-law of the guy who started the company. Um, he was actually out helping me get loaded up. We ended up picking up some products from them that we really wanted to try out to see how we liked them and how they were going to work. Um, because going forward, we have been wanting to invest more heavily in our infrastructure of sheep equipment. And currently, we usually end up just making wooden gates. That's what I've always done up to this point, or buying some gates and making them work. But going forward, we're wanting something a little bit more versatile, um, professional looking. The nice thing about them, everything's made in America. Um, it was nice dealing with them, very easy to deal with them. They were able to help me out get everything loaded up even though I was calling basically right at the very end of their open period to get on their trailer. And I wasn't sure how it was going to go getting everything loaded up if I was going to have to try to cart it out of the facility or what. Um, but it was actually really easy to get everything loaded up. They had a process down because they've been doing this for years. And that was really simple. And already I'm looking through their catalog looking for more stuff that I want to add to for next year so that way I can go down and pick it up again and save myself a little bit of money with shipping. And like I said, one of the things we really enjoy doing down there is going and watching some of the sheep show. And well, me and Rachel went in and sat down on the bleachers to watch some of the sheep show, we were talking and the guy sitting behind us said, hey, I think I actually watch your YouTube channel. Uh, we ended up talking for a little bit talking about what he does with his sheep and what he's doing with them. Uh, we're talking about you know stuff that I had planned here to do around here. And one really cool thing for me was to be able to talk to somebody that didn't know me, uh, didn't come to the farmer's market to hear about our YouTube channel or anything like that. Just somebody who randomly found me on YouTube. Uh, basically just to ask him like, how did you find me? What were you searching? Stuff like that. Uh, it was really cool to get to talk to you, Eric, and I really enjoyed meeting you. So the first thing I'm gonna be using that we purchased from Seidel there at the North American is this panel, I uh, call them gates, panels. Um, what we're gonna be using this for is just a five foot panel uh, for a front of a lambing jug. And then once we're through lambing, I'm gonna be able to take this panel, flip it upside down, and use it in conjunction with my other creep feeder gate. And the lambs can pass through these holes. Um, it's a little bit more rigid than the gate we had because it's welded in where the other gate's adjustable. So I think it should work out pretty good uh, with the use, not being able to pass through this one. And I really like the ability to be able to use this in a couple different ways. But one of the reasons why we picked this up and I got it as a five foot, typically all of our lambing jugs are four by eights. Um, those are the gates that we have uh, that fits. The reason why I wanted this as a five foot gate is because I picked up an additional product that they offer to use in conjunction with this during lambing. And so the second item that we purchased from them was a headlock. Uh, this headlock works with this panel. Um, that's part of the reason why we got this five foot panel. And this headlock is because I wanted something to where if we had a ewe that we were having an issue pulling her lamb or trying to graft a lamb on her or get her to basically accept her own lambs, instead of getting the halter and taking two of us and one of us having to stand up there and hold her or try to tie her up while she's tearing apart the place, uh, this headlock should work really well for us. 
to basically secure the U, make it safe for her, comfortable for her, and safe for us. And hopefully that basically equals that we're able to, you know, basically pull lambs a little bit easier, make everything a lot less stressful on everybody involved. Now I haven't read any instructions on how to install this. I just looked at a couple pictures they had on their website. I just wanted to see if I could figure it out. It looks pretty simple for me to put on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide it on now just to show how quick I can add it and take it off. With that mounted on there, you wonder, will that hold a U? Now, I just had this tied up here because uh, I had good light right here. Um, and I'm not standing in the middle of the U pin doing it. I just slid it on, put the clips through, and you can put a U in there and keep it moving around. And I mean, you can just pick the whole gate up with it. So I feel like that's going to work out pretty well for us if we need it. I hope we don't. Like I said, it's just kind of an insurance policy to have. Uh, and to use basically make it a little bit easier to safely secure a U and make her immobile and also with it being five foot it gives me a little bit more room to get around her and work in there um, because by the time you put a U in that headlock there in the middle of the panel it's four foot and then I try to get it next to her we're really squeezed in there tight. So here's those pins for it I'll go ahead and slide it in and you got the smooth head there of the pin on the inside so the U's body's up so against it pushes it in there tight nothing's poking her just locks in real easy these are easy to get replacements this came with it um here's the head gate right now i got it shifted open with this little bracket you know something so that you can have it to where you can run the use head through um there's a setting bracket here that you can slide back and forth to make different adjustments to where this won't get tight against the U's, no matter how much they're pulling back against it uh, with their head when they're locked in, this bracket will stop them from basically getting it too tight on themselves. I'm gonna get a little adjustable wrench and just basically stick over next to this panel where I set it up at. So that way we can adjust it because some of our U's have different size necks. And if we gotta make any adjustment, it'll be nice to have a little adjustable wrench there with us. But, um, this unit, I mean, it springs real easy, real nice, simple, easy to set on, um, hook up, and really easy to use. Uh, I'll pop this off and just go ahead and show you. I mean, the thing just lifts right off. And it just has two little angle brackets that set over there. Like I said, there's all kinds of different holes here on the top and on the bottom to mount it in to make it work in whatever system you want to tie it into. But I went ahead and got this panel so I could basically use their system. Um, I knew everything would fit together and I can incorporate this panel into our operation currently. So this first item we purchased, we're actually gonna be using it today. Um, it is a stand that I'm able to secure a lamb into so that way I can tag its ear band its tail, give it a shot, and the lamb can't wiggle around. It will hold it securely up where I can work on it. And the reason why I wanted to get one of these is because right now, the currently the way we do it, it takes one of us to hold the lamb while the other is banding it and tagging its ear. And this is something that I'm really wanting to focus on is because like, I, I haven't been raising sheep my whole life. Rachel has been raising sheep her whole life. Um, I can reach down and pick up one of these lambs, no problem, hold it. But it's wiggling around and bouncing around, and I want to be able to tag its ear right in a specific spot. I want it to look good, not have a chance of ripping out. Um, I want to be able to band its tail a certain way. And for me, I feel a lot better about having this stand where I can put them in, they're secure, and I can just, you know, get it done. But I can get it done to where it's a way that it's really easy on the lamb. I can get it on there really smoothly. I can get their ear tagged really easily without them having to jerk around. Um, the lamb should feel a little bit better because they're secure there. And I'll be able to get everything done by processing them this way and making everything a little bit smoother for myself and for the lamb. So here's all the pieces of that lamb restraint. Uh, it came with a base plate. That rod's separate. I still got to tighten it down. This tray was loose. Uh, the bracket here, I just put it in, kind of mocked it up, and then that's the actual restraint itself. 
The only real assembly, other than just tightening a couple of these uh, bolts that are already in there, is just putting some bolts through here to hold the plastic restraint system on. Um, it came with all that and with instructions, it's pretty easy to set up. Uh, this tray is really nice. You put your tools on there, whatever you need. It's a removable plastic liner. Um, one thing that's nice is there's already some holes drilled there through the cross members. Um, so you can bolt this plastic tray down or in you know my case in a couple years from now if this tray gets broken or lost i can just bolt down a piece of plywood and it'll still be very usable um i'm gonna go ahead and assemble it now like i said it's just four bolts uh to tighten into there and we'll get it all put together and set up and take a final look at it So here is a finished look at that lamb restraint all set up. I ended up putting this little tool tray on the right hand side. I'm right handed. It'll make things easy for me to grab off the tray and use them. I have this set up a little tall right now. It hits me right about the elbows here because I don't want to have to squat down to see anything. Uh, if I'm wearing a headlamp or anything like that, I want everything right up here to where it's very easy for me to see because like I said, I want everything to look a certain way and put it right in the right spot. And that's what helps me. With your different size lambs, it has a really easy wing nut adjustment with plenty of room to adjust both sides to kind of clamp them down with this top portion. Um, I know this unit, this lamb restraint unit comes with a pedestal or with a panel mount system. Uh, so you could mount, you know, this restraint and I think the work tray to one of their other panels. I don't have a lot of their panels. Um, so I just went ahead with this pedestal because with the way our barn is always changing, how we kind of have it set up and as we're constantly expanding, it feels like I like the idea of this pedestal so that way I could put it wherever I needed it at. And then also when I'm done, I'll just break it all down uh, and store it. It really won't take up hardly any room. Um, so far, I'm really impressed with it. It was super easy to put together. That restraint at the top, the adjustments are all wing nuts. Um, the, to bolt it down to the stand itself was 7 16 inch socket. And then I just a half inch socket to uh, use these tighteners to hold the main stand all together. Pretty easy, maybe took me five minutes total to get everything put in where I wanted that and adjusted to the height I wanted it. So now with this stand assembled, I wanna take it over here next to this nursery area so we can band the tails of those first three lambs and get them all tagged. So with this tool tray, there's plenty of room there for me. Uh, these are what I keep my bands in, in that toolbox. I got the bander there, ear tagger set up, and then I just have my tags laid out so I can see everything. I like how it's right up here, visible for me, um, really easy to reach. And I have plenty of room on here to have other stuff if I'm doing anything else. But right now this is perfect for what I'm using it for. So I actually had this thing mounted on backwards uh, after looking at the picture online, kind of seeing how we use it. Uh, we ended up, I changed it around really quick and I ended up sliding the lambs in from this end and their butt kind of hits here and it's kind of the stopper. Their feet, uh, rear feet be trapped up in here, uh, head up at that end. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. Is the tail out? It is now. I got, that's a little tail. I wouldn't let go yet. Okay, you want to move like there? Like, I would angle it this way. Like that? Yeah. I still gotta roll it off. Push him up towards me. Shoot. 
shop. There's a problem with some of these suffix here. It was too big already. Okay, well. Alright. Like that? Yep. There we go. <laughs> You're turning his head. I don't I need it straight. There we go. Just trying to support it with him. Oh, it's fine. Lamb's left. So did that go perfectly? No, and I blame that on my inexperience. Um, like I said, this is the first time I ever used this. Uh, after all, I did assemble it backwards after looking at their website and through their catalog, and you know, it's right and all that, of course, but when I put it together, I guess I wasn't thinking, put it together backwards. But I can see how this lamb stand will be very beneficial for us going forward. Um, you know, I really like how it's set up. I just think I need more experience at using it. Also, again, the only time I've ever seen this lamb stand and this headlock, um, word out in North America and I've never seen one used uh, so I'm just kind of guessing my way through it so if anybody out there knows how to use them any better uh, meaning like is there something that I'm doing wrong am I setting up wrong or something feel free to put it in the comments to let me know because there's one thing I'm for sure about is there's always room for me to improve and learn more and like I said I'm just kind of guessing my way through um, but overall I think this will be really handy in our lambing operation um, I really like the way it's set up and it seems built very well and will be very useful for us going forward. Well, that'll wrap this one up. Thanks for watching.